This video is brought to you by the supporters on Patreon. Hi guys! I'm here with a video giving you a tour of my cosplay workspace. So if you haven't noticed, I'm in a different setup than some of my older videos and I just craft out of my bedroom. Uh, so I figured I might as well give a tour of my workspace to kind of give you guys an idea of how I have things set up and maybe help you out on setting up your own workspace if you also have a very limited and small space. All right, here's just an overview of my little work area or little corner. This is what it looks like. I've got some neon lights going on. These are glowing pink right now and they can glow a bunch of different colors. They're probably my favorite part about this workspace besides the um, chair and headset because those are also pink. All right, so I just went ahead and opened my window since it is daytime and bright out. I guess we'll start from, uh, probably from this side, it's easier. So first off, this is where I record from. This right here is my tripod for my camera. And that right there is the light. When I do have sunlight, I will just use my window that is like right here behind my desk. I specifically put my desk on this side, by the way, because my window is here. But this side goes where it's like, like right in front of the window so the light can't be blocked by my own shadow when I am crafting in the daytime. But let's start with the top of the desk. I have a vacuum sitting here because I do use it in my workspace often. However, it does not usually stay here. There is a charger out in the living room for it and it usually sits on its charger. Next is just a basket that I have sitting here. It was a leftover basket from my Daisy May cosplay. So I've just stored some smaller pieces for Alloy and Kiki in here. Behind that, I have colored pencils, which aren't really used for costumes at all. I just have colored pencils. Anyways, there's a couple notebooks. This notebook is my planner and then the notebook below it. This one has a list of like all the templates I want to get around to making, even if I don't make the thing, as well as like 3D prints that I want to make. But it also has pages of all of the progress and materials I buy and how much I use for every cosplay so that I can better track this stuff for future references and for the ebooks that I'm making about them. And then the notebook below it is just like a word puzzle thing. It's not relevant. Next I have this mug. It's just like a soup cup and because I have these big spools of thread for a lot of thread that I use, it doesn't sit on my sewing machine. So I put it in this mug to, to hold it and then I string it through my sewing machine like normal and it seems to work out just fine. Behind my desk on this side is a um, cutting board mat. It's the best place it fits so when I need it, I take it out and put it on my floor. It stays there for quite a few days afterwards because it's such a hassle to put it back in here, but this is where it normally goes. After that is my sewing machine. This is just like a beginner sewing machine and it's done pretty well so far. Yeah, it shows you that you don't need a fancy sewing machine to make costumes. The wall behind my desk on both sides, well mostly this side and then this little corner, is just full of photos of, I've bought from cosplayers and prints, I guess, technically prints. So yeah, I have just a bunch of different cosplayers that I find inspiring and characters that I really like. Next to it, this is usually just empty space, but I'm currently working on Aloy, so I just have all of the pieces here that I'm not quite finished with yet. After that is my serger. It sits here. After that is my mouse pad and my mouse and just a phone sitting here. And then this is just a stack of basically papers. It's just a bunch of like white paper and lined papers and old templates that I reuse to cut into new templates. On top of this is just the controller for my lights, some pens and pencils I use quite often, a couple snack things, and then my memory cards for my camera. And then over here is just my computer. It's sorry, this is a little out of focus. A keyboard switch mic, stuff that I use to record and edit and then below that is just um, I guess this is my actual computer that's just a monitor so my computer my headset got a couple of external hard drives I think they're both like a couple terabytes and then a drawing pad for when I do use that like making stickers all right now we're gonna go back over to the bottom over here so this is just a thing of receipts 
of anything that I've bought cosplay related. And then next to that is just a sheet of Thibra that I have that I haven't found a reason to use yet, but I will eventually. And then next to that under my desk, I have these two storage units. On top of these ones, I have a coking gun and foam board glue. I have super glue. I have three little things of contact cement. Behind that, I have a bunch of these little cases. So this one has some Dremel bits in it. This one is a bunch of sewing feet and just random buttons I have. Next to that, I have these. Uh, this is like foam cutting bits. And then besides that, there's a bunch of screws and nails and tacks in here. Next to that is a bunch of battery container things, battery cases, battery packs. I don't know what you call these. It's for lighting and LEDs So, And then under that is this big thing right here, which is just a giant set of a bunch of different Dremel bits. On top of the next one over here, I have some cosplay clay and then I have a giant case of batteries because these are the batteries that I use the most. The other batteries that I use the most for my costumes are these circle batteries. So I have a giant case of those as well. Just a box of a bunch of different drill bits. This is a 3D printer pen. Then this is more lighting stuff. This has LEDs in it, some other batteries like the double A's and triple A's kind of batteries, and then some other just random bits. This one, is like jewelry stuff. It's a lot of wire, clasps, snaps, chain, etc. All right, now going back over here, this first drawer is like mostly just sewing stuff. It has stuff that I use often, like these goggles, scissors, measuring tapes, rollers. I got this little rotary cutter and then tape. It was basically a bunch of um, my smaller stuff and like common tools. The one below it is just a bunch of like miscellaneous, not miscellaneous craft stuff, but it's more crafty stuff, like general crafting stuff. Like it's pencils, sharpies, markers, pens. There's wired out, there's glue, there's some random stamps. <laughs> the one below that is paint. This is mostly my fabric paint. However, it does definitely have acrylic paint because I had so much of it. It had to go into a second drawer as well. And then I've also stuck my uh, Bondo's glazing and spot putty into this. Below that is all of my acrylic paint. Not all of it. Obviously, some of this is in this drawer. But anyways, it's acrylic paint. It's also got my oil paint that I use a lot for shading and then all of my paintbrushes right here. Below this is a drawer of really, this is just miscellaneous stuff. It's anything that I didn't know where else to put it. It's stuff that I've used in past cosplays and just had leftover stuff for. Like these bells were leftover, I think, from Jingle Tracer. Going back to this storage unit, we're gonna start with the top one. So this top one is like mostly like hardware tools, I guess you would say, besides like the popsicle sticks. And I've got like some painter tapes in this drawer, but this drawer has a bunch of my tools. So it's got my heat gun, it's got my two soldering irons, then it's got my Dremel. It has a bunch of the other battery packs where you like attach the bigger battery to and the double A's. It has some of my heavier duty or wire cutters down here as well as screwdrivers so yeah this is basically like my more heavy duty tools i guess you could say the next drawer i honestly don't know how to describe this this is kind of like a part two to this drawer but a little bit more organized so this has all my pvc pipe and wooden pieces even like the random wooden shapes like right here it's got all of my molds and extra casts that i've made out of resin here as well as a couple 3d prints that i haven't got around to using and then tools to carve like clay or in foam clay it also has my hot glue my hot glue gun and some buckles this bottom drawer it's like the elastic the velcro the ribbon the bias tape zippers embroidery floss other types of strings and, and bubbles that aren't thread basically. Back here is a ton just all bias tape along this back row right here. I have two rollers. This one couldn't fit in a drawer so I just left it out here. I don't use it quite as much. This is the ruler that I use the most. It is a ruler that is made for sewing so it's transparent. It's long, it's wide, it's got a bunch of different angles on it. Next to that is a giant tub of wood glue. And then under this that sits in the corner, this is a box of leftover EVA foam as well as my bevels. 
And then over here is a package of two millimeter EVA foam sheets. Seems like it from Walmart. Behind that, this thing right here is patterning fabric. Behind that is a roll of EVA foam that I'm currently using. I don't keep all of my EVA foam in this room because there's just not space for it. I just keep what I'm currently using in this room. Behind that is just some larger bevels, some larger wooden dowels, and some translucent iridescent cellophane. So next to that, I have another one of these storage units. On top of it, I have my bobbins in this case, pin cushion. This box has a box of those clips that I use for sewing. Then I have two of these really messy bowls. This box right here is mostly sewing stuff. This has a bunch of like my snaps, buttons that actually are sets, like completed sets in here, as well as sewing machine tools. And then this is mostly just fabric. That's all this is. This drawer is like mostly current cosplay projects or cosplay projects I'll get to sooner rather than later. This drawer is everyday wear outfits that I'm working on. And then this one is some of just the heavier fabric from current cosplay projects. So it's like the fur and the fake leather. So that finishes up this area. We're gonna move on to this thing right here. So there was a sh clothing store going out of business nearby and they were selling these racks. So I got one because I wanted something to hang like work in progress costumes on. However, it definitely has some finished costumes on here. So yeah, so this is my rack of costumes. Below this though is the shoes for current costumes. And back behind here is stuff kind of mis- not miscellaneous pieces, it's wigs that need to be styled for recent, um, like for upcoming costumes. It's mostly just accessories for current work in progress costumes. Trying to figure out which way we should go since we're here. I'm just going to go this way, which is the back of my door where I have this shelving unit hanging. So starting with the bottom, I have this thread rack. It's one that sits on a table, but I didn't want to just take up a lot of table space, so I hung it on my door. Then this next row is, again, mostly just general craft materials. I got this spray bottle here, which for some reason has a water label on it, even though it's just, it's what I use to like dye wigs. Up here is thread, the giant spools of thread for colors that I end up using quite a bit. And then I've got two rolls of duct tape. I have my mask more packaging tape. Under this is cling wrap. Up at the very top here is more acrylic paint. I've got like larger bottles of it, of colors I use a lot, like black, white, gold, silver. It's got airbrush cleaner as well. It has some of these little beads that I used to use. It's also got airbrush thinner back here. It has food dye that I use to dye resin. It has dye for clothing. I have two mold makers stacked right here. I'm sorry if the camera is really shaky, guys. I'm too short for this. Then I have two types of resin and then disposable cups that I use to mix the resin in. Working my way into a circle, just under this little bedside table, I have sitting here my scan and cut. Right next, we have these little boxes. So over here, I have patterns that I made for my plushies and this box drawer, whatever, is full of just patterns. These are all patterns that I got from Joann's, but I also have a couple that I've drawn up myself and it's um, kind of like a common a common shape or a common piece. Next, I have this shelf right here. It's kind of just stuff that I needed to fit here. So this is a big box of plastic ornaments. My little airbrushes are right here. And this is all of my airbrush paints. So all of my airbrush paints and their little color wheel, they're all right here. A film that I bought for resin, however, I hate working with this stuff, so I'll probably never use it again. And then some older projects that I started working on, but never really finished. In the drawer above it, it's mostly just wires and stuff. Um, it's got my ring light, it has my stand for a phone, it's got my chargers in it for like my camera. This next part is a closet that is just outside my room. And this closet has a lot of my crafting stuff. So the current shelf that I'm showing you is one of the middle shelves. And I just have a couple bins full of some kind of miscellaneous crafting stuff. This is stuff I've really just used on Aloy. 
but I also have a sewing book, some vinyl, and some resin molds in here, as well as my hand saw. It's pretty empty, however, it will probably get filled up soon, but I'm going to try to keep this as a, like, more broad or stuff that I could use fairly frequently in most costumes, or a lot of them at least. On the shelf above it, I just have a kimono and then my iron and drill and a couple other miscellaneous items that aren't related to cosplay. Going down a couple of shelves, I have my ironing board and my airbrush, and then the shelf below it, or I guess the, the floor has my yarn, and everything else is like unrelated to cosplay. All right guys, so this is the last room, and it's a spare room that we kind of just store a bunch of stuff in, so I'm not trying to show it all because it is really messy, but basically uh, this is where I keep all my costumes after they're done, especially the larger props. In this thing, this is just mostly a box of stuffing. Yes, this is how I'm storing my Jinx wig. It has a couple other armor pieces in it from some various costumes, and then my hat for Sakura. Tronda's bow and Bakugo's gauntlets. Eventually I want to put these on a shelf. Is two bins. Uh, this bin is all of my photography stuff. So this has all of my backdrops, it's like anything that would be considered a set piece. Props that are just kind of general props and not anything character specific. Box below this is all of my convention stuff. Over to the side over here is all of my fabric, well not all of my fabric because again there's some in my other room uh but yeah this is most of my fabric this box right here is all of my plushy fabric this box right here is patterned fabric fabric that i don't see myself using quite as often it was kind of for like a one-off project here is a box of all of my current current projects so this is all stuff i bought fairly recently for projects i really wanted to get to and sometime soon that big big box down at the bottom is all of my general fabrics like common fabrics it's fabric that i use a lot for a lot of different projects and it will always come in handy for a lot of different projects and it has fake fur next to all that is another closet and this is where i store all of my costumes back at it again with the phone light so sorry if it's not great it's a lot darker on camera than it is in person sorry it's like the other closet i can see fine but my camera can't so hanging up are all of the costumes that i felt like hanging up so this bottom bin at the very bottom is all of my wigs and it is filled to the top guys like i have room for like one more layer of wigs before that thing is full there's a wig that i missed after i had stacked all these it's staying there for now got some shoes for my costumes on the ground i have ari tail in the corner over there so these two bins are costumes they're more of the props and other pieces that could be compacted. There's some armor pieces as well. My Ziggs cosplay, my entire Ziggs cosplay is also in this bin too. Mostly all of my Taronda armor is in here and then um, Nia armor. Also forgot to mention that on top of this fabric box is my wig head behind this giant tub that's sitting in the chair currently. I have all of my other EVA from my Brigida showed, which is another thing I want to try to hang up at some point. Some insulation foam board. Alright guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe this tour gave you some ideas on how to organize your own craft face. Thanks for watching. Bye!